the wonderful Ethiopians of the ancient Kushite Empire. We will continue reading chapter 2, part 6. The ambassadors were shown the table of the sun, a meadow at the outskirts of the city in which much boiled flesh was laid, placed there every night by the magistrates. This seems a strange custom to the unthinking, but was part of the commercial policy of the Ethiopians, a way by which the vast trains of caravans that swept through the country were fed. At the table of the sun, all who wished might eat. The ambassadors were next led to the prisons, where the captives were bound with gold fetters. This was before the Iron Age. Ethiopia had a skill in embalming superior to Egypt. The Ethiopian mummy could be seen all around, and they were preserved in columns of transparent glass. The Egyptian mummy could only be seen from the front. In the sepulchres, the corpses were covered with plaster on which were painted lifelike portraits of the deceased. They were then placed in the cases of crystal, which was dug up in abundance. His report of Herodotus proves the Ethiopians in possession of laws, prisons, commerce, knowledge of working metals, and the fine arts. The end of chapter three. Next reading will be chapter four. I want to make a correction to me saying that this was chapter two in the beginning of this recording. This is the conclusion of chapter three. Until next time, the wonderful Ethiopians of the ancient Kushite empire. Sleep well, dream well, peace and prosperity. This is your reader, Baba Diadine, signing out.